What is Tezos? XTZ, self-amending blockchain. Coin owners are able to vote for changing rules, and the software would automatically update to ensure the changes were made. Welcome to Tezos ecosystem, I'm Tony from KK Technologies. Let's discover Tezos together. Think about a truly decentralized system at all levels. Discovering blocks, broadcasts transactions, validates transactions, and reaches consensus on the same single chain. Tezos attempts to create the decision-making process into the network of users itself. Tezos creates incentives for user participation in the core development process by creating governance rules for stakeholders to approve of protocol upgrades that are then automatically deployed on the network. At the same time, the developers of Tezos were aware that specific critical properties needed to be upheld over time. Tezos uses formal mathematical proofs to verify that these properties are maintained. It also includes a mechanism that allows for collective decision-making. Token holders are allowed votes on pending protocol developments. What makes Tezos unique? One of the main goals of Tezos is to become a network that is capable of creating the best reward ecosystem in the blockchain world. One of the main differences between Tezos and other cryptocurrencies is the fact that it is both decentralized and self-governing. Easily voting for participants, also its automatic upgrades and updates, also play a major role in the uniqueness of Tezos. How it works? Tezos blockchain network can change, upgrade and amend itself by following a particular set of rules. Generally, blockchain has three layers. Network layer, for communication between nodes and peers. Transaction layer that specifies the transaction verification protocol, and consensus layer, which is again self-explanatory. Thus, it allows seamless communication between blockchain and network layers, while the network layer remains agnostic to the other two layers. This communication between layers gives chance to stakeholders for governing the blockchain network upgrades and changes in a democratic manner. To make its system work, Tezos users were allowed to vote through a process called baking, in which they agreed to lock XTZ they owned in special contracts. Bakers who are usually also developers, can propose protocol upgrades. When the system has collected all the upgrade proposals, the registered bakers cast votes. When they do that, they are in fact voting on behalf of a larger community, and the value of their votes are directly proportional to the amount of coins the baker and their node might hold at that time. This process consists of four unique voting periods, with each vote separated by 23 days. The proposal period. Any baker on the network can propose changes to the way the network is run. The proposals receiving the most votes move on to the next stage. The exploration vote period. Proposals that reach an 80% positive vote move on to the next stage. The testing period. The proposal is implemented on a temporary fork of the network to ensure it works and will not cause harm to the primary blockchain. The promotion vote period. A final vote is cast to determine if the proposal will be implemented to the source code of Tezos. 80% or more is needed to pass. Bakers can also be rewarded for beneficial proposals by attaching an invoice to their submission. If their proposal is implemented after passing all four stages, the invoice will mint a specified amount for the baker. To summarize, Protocol is a perfect example of a secure next-generation blockchain ecosystem, with open access to on-chain governance, which enables anyone to propose an amendment on-chain and change the protocol if the proposal gets enough votes. Tezos, denoted by XTZ, is a blockchain network associated with a digital token known as a Tezier Tez. These tokens never mind due to the network, uses a proof-of-stake consensus protocol. The blockchain network is an open-source self-upgradable platform designed for creating and hosting applications and assets. Stakeholders are donated with the responsibility of governing upgrades for the primary protocol, including amendments made to the governing process. What are your thoughts about Tezos? Would you use or invest in it? Let me know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. If you find this video helpful, please tab subscribe button.